Hi guys, in this tutorial I would like to talk about keyframe animations, use the properties of keyframe animations and explain them to you if you don't know how that all works. So let's get to the tutorial. Okay guys, so in my HTML I have only one div container and it's called container. And inside of this container I have uh, uh, one div with a class name bird and another div with a class name tree. Both of these divs have uh, these two images, bird image and the tree image. And in my CSS, I have uh, must just give a little bit of styling to the body, give it um, this, body, this uh, background color, um, some styling to this tree image, height, width, margin, margin top, and the styling to this uh, bird image. All right, and now uh, let's work with our animation. So we'll be using keyframes and to start working with keyframes, all we need to do is say uh, add keyframes. Then the next thing we need to do is uh, we need to give our keyframes uh, a name. And um, usually it should be a descriptive name sort of animation it's going to be. So in my situation, I want for this bird to fly. And thus, I'll give the name fly. So in my previous uh, video, I was talking about um, transform property. Uh, feel free to check it out. And uh, for the animation of keyframes, we'll be using transform properties. Now to start with keyframes, uh, we will need to um, give a position what point animation will be doing and what exactly it will be doing at that point. And so we'll be using percentages. So at 0%, I will open um, this curly braces and inside I will say at 0% I will use um, transform property translate because I want to be um, moving bird from left to right so at this initial stage I don't want to be happening anything so the um, pixels will be set to zero pixels and then at 100% which is um, the last point of this animation I'll say transform, um, translate X, and where do I want my bird to be at the last point? So at the last point of animation, I want my bird to be at about 270 pixels. Now, as I save, nothing is happening. This is because we need to assign this keyframe, uh, uh, these keyframes to um, the item that we want to animate. In my situation, this is this item right here, which is this bird. So to do this, all I need to do is say animation and then use the name of this keyframes. So I'll use fly and let's say three seconds and uh, linear, sort of what, you know, what we had for the transition. So it will take three seconds for the animation to happen. And now what, um, actually before I forget, I could do also um, from and um, to, and it will work uh, just the same. But with percentages, um, I can give as many percentage points or points of animation as I want. So it will work um, better and we'll be working with this. Um, so let's uh, review right now um, animation um, uh, properties one by one and all the things that we can do with uh, um, animation. So uh, animation name is um, the keyframe we want to be using and that is fly. And now um, to get this moving, we need to set the timing of our animation. And there is this property animation duration. And let's say three seconds. So 
So that worked. Uh, that is exactly what we had uh, previously. Animation, and then we use this fly in three seconds. Now, what are the properties that we have? For example, I want for my bird to actually stop on the tree. There is this property which is called animation fill mode. And uh, we can see we have backwards, uh, forwards, uh, both. And so for my bird to stop on the tree, I will use the forwards animation. Let me maybe set it to 300 pixels. And now it stops once it has reached uh, the point of its destination. Then um, we also have animation um, direction. And with animation direction, uh, we have a, a list to choose from. Um, let's say normal, which is just normal reverse, which um, reverses the animation um, from the very last one to the first one. So it goes sort of backwards. Um, if I, let's say you uh, choose reverse and I'll cancel this out you will see that my keyframe at 100% uh, begins first and then it goes to my sec my first keyframe at 0%. And let's say if we use normal, this is just a normal animation. So guys, now I kind of changed a little bit. I At 50%, I want for the animation to go um, to go down 50, 50 pixels. At 80%, it will go up 20 pixels, and then it will move forward. And then with this uh, fill mode, it will stop uh, forward. Um, st stop right here. Um, so we also have um, animation delay, let's say two, uh, two seconds, and that's just that delay property that uh, we, I was talking about in my, one of my videos for transition. It will wait two seconds before it starts uh, animating. And of course, we also have uh, anima animation timing function. That is this is in or is out. Um, let's use this one, for example. I don't want to have any uh, delay animation, so I'll comment it out. Also, um, we have animation iteration count. So let's say we can we set it to infinite, and that is uh, it will be repeating itself infinitely. Um, if we want to set a um, certain count, let's say I want for this to take two rounds then I will specify two in um, animation iteration count um, and so guys we can have all these properties in one line okay guys now let's get a little bit more um, properties to our uh, keyframes for our animation to look more interesting 
Um, so um, we can use uh, uh, add more properties to transform property. Um, let's say um, I will change this one to 500. The next step that I want to be happening is um, rotation. So I will say rotate and let's say 20 degrees. And then the next step that I want to be happening is um, scale and minus one so that the image will flip, um, flip around. And then translate Y, 350 pixels, so it will go down 350 pixels. And then translate X, 400 pixels. And see what I have uh, got with this. Oh, I'm sorry. I think, uh, where did it go? Okay, uh, let's change this one. Scale X. Mm. So on scale X, it will flip. And then we'll try now. And it landed on the ground. So if we change the duration to, um, let's say four seconds, and let's do the function to is in. So, and yes, this way we can combine multiple properties. Um, and so guys, we can have all these properties in one line. First thing we call, give our animation the name here. And then let's say three seconds. Three seconds forward is in. Let's let for let for it to be repeated twice. And I don't want to have any delay. And then there is a second round. So in what position you will have these properties does not really matter. Um, you can have four forwards, for example, right here is in at the very end. Um, just know that you have two numbers which are set in seconds. First number will go for uh, the duration and the second number will mean uh, the delay. And then the another number is uh, is not in seconds as you can see so that will mean iteration count okay so, so that's pretty much all i believe and uh, i hope this video was helpful and i'll see you next time bye bye